So here's one of the feeder trays, a 08A size, and I have a reel here, and you're going to want to put it on, but this one, since it's a larger reel, it gets in the way of the release lever here. So what you can do is take these uh, feeder arms off, turn them around. This also helps you stagger the reels when they're in the feeder tray. So now this will fit on there. No problem. Okay, so then you get the reel on, and you always want to have extra cover tape when you stop your previous run. And you can see all these are empty. They don't start until way down here. So we're going to feed it through this little catch down through here. And it is easier to finish feeding the reel onto the feeder when it's standing up and there's a little spot on the left side of the machine here. So you want to put the DV9 connector in, make sure that's seated. Line it up, this lever back here, pull it up, then it'll seat the rest of the way. When you push it down, it'll push it in. And now we can take where we left off, the tape here, and up here, there's a latch that you need to pull forward, right there, and then this will come up. Take this, feed it underneath here, like so. Take, making sure your plastic cover goes with it. And then you can feed your cover tape back down this slot, back through here. And there's a sprocket down there that'll catch these you want to make sure that goes down in there and then you can close the latch you can see here how the teeth are going through so we know we're in there good and then back here with the tape, you want to make sure it's straight, feed it down into this catch, make sure it locks, make sure your tape feeds straight, and then tighten it up. Not too tight, just a little bit like that. In order to release these, same way you put them in, just pull this up, and you always want to lift by this. Then make sure you slide the DB connector out so you don't mess up any of the pins there. And here we are. We want to feed it in the slot. We're going to put in slot 15. Make sure the, the tab, the locating pin, goes in first, the DB9. Push it down a little bit, pull this lever up, then push it down to seat it. Now, making sure this is tight, we can index it one at a time. You're going to want to index it until your resistor shows up or your component. Put it in, line up the top alignment pin up here, tilt it down, you get the DV9 engaged, line up the back, a little bit of pressure, pull up on this lever to seat it down, we push the lever down, and we'll seat it forward. Again, we push the button forward until we get our first component showing. Want to pass one and reverse it if you need to. You want to reverse it and then come back to it from the other direction to make sure it's lined up. So again, if you go past, when you reverse it, it's not quite in the exact same spot. So we'll reverse it several, and then go forward to line it up. For this run here, I've already set this up. We have our support pins, which keep the board from flexing. We have a datum pin here 
This is the crucial piece of information where you need to have it located. I have it located on the second one, second set of threads all the way over. This plate is all the way buttered up against this rail. And I've already adjusted this plate here. So I set it on the ledge up there, put it down onto this ledge here, making sure it's down, and I push it over, making sure it's seated up against the datum pin.